Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and I just felt like I needed to do some crafting so I was at a bunch of things on my desk that I've been working on and I experimented this morning so I thought well why not do a quick tutorial on this and then wait for the results and in the meantime we will have some fun with some projects that um, I've been working on and kind of do a little flip through of a few things. But before we get started, a uh, shout out to all of you who have subscribed. I appreciate you very much. For all of you who are new subscribers, thank you for joining us. And especially today, Miss O. Susanna, Gloria B., and Sunflowers and Bees. That kind of rhymed a little bit. So thanks for joining me. So we are going to start with a little tutorial on the way that I rust my metal items. So I've pulled out a few things that some I haven't tried. Um, I did grab out some, here, let me just hold this up here. Some, a, one gold safety pin, a couple of really long gold brads. Those are, I think those are vintage ones. A bunch of silver safety pins. A couple of these that I just found in my stash they're actually, they have a template. I've probably had them since back in my scrap, scrapbook <laughs> days. Um, so they're old, but they have templates that go with them to cut out the oval, the same shape, and then you can put it in there. And it's almost like the same as this, except these are oval and I think I have squares. So I thought, well, why not? We'll try it. I never use them, so maybe I will. And then I got three different size sizes of these little, I don't even know what they're really called, but it's what you, ribbon clamps, ribbon clasps. Uh, I did three different sizes because I wanted, their three different metals. So these are just like regular silver. These, I know you probably can't tell, but they're more of a, they look more like a sterling silver. Actually, you can on camera pretty well. And then the gold is the gold. I also had a little Monopoly piece I thought I would grab. And then these are uh, alligator clips. I used to use these when I made hats and bows. And you know I use these a lot in my uh, building ephemera. I found this little thing. thought it was kind of cute. It says thank you. And it just clips over a piece of paper. And again from the bowels of my craft supplies. I thought, well, if that works well, I might just do these and put them on my Etsy orders as a little thank you. One regular paper clip because, and I'll tell you why I have some in there already, uh, a couple of pieces of little ball chain, shuffle ball change. I found a little bottle cap. Uh, since we are working on a fairy journal, I did grab three of the little fairies to see what they turn out like. So just a little variety. And let me show you what else I've got because I have an idea. And let me, sh let me just get everything over here. This is my current concoction. And it's in a little pimento jar. You know, the pimento spread or what do they call it? Yeah, pimento spread um, with a little lid that's on it. That's how small that <laughs> that little container is. But I was like, I just want to try this and see what happens. So I did. And, oh my gosh, that had something in it. Well, it's fine. I did grab a syringe and a little bottle because I want to tell you what we're going to do with it. But these are some of the items that have already come out of my concoction. So I had those and let's see just for the sake of let's see if I can find I don't think I have any of these down here but I have these <clears throat> excuse me so look how different that is pretty cool we'll add a couple of these in there too and then I grabbed a couple of let's see if these are going to open up yep so those have come out of the now, they have been, <clears throat> let's see, when did I put them in? I took these probably out at maybe 1 o'clock or so. So I put them in at like 10.30 this morning. So they were in there for way more than they probably needed to be. I would say maybe just for the sake of doing this, just for an hour maybe. 
But what I noticed when I was taking, let's see, let me get another paper towel. When I had taken those or initial ones out, my paper clips really, my regular paper clips really weren't rusting. So let's see if they've done anything since then. And the answer would be no. So they did nothing. So this method, I swear I've done this before, but apparently not. Yeah, those did nothing. So I'm just gonna leave them in there for the time being. What is that little thing in there? I don't even know. I thought all I put in there was paper clips in the, oh, I stuck in. I didn't think this would probably work, but that can come out. See if I can get to it. I need, yeah, see this one didn't, that's good, but this one didn't do anything. Oh, actually this one needs to go back in. See this little part? I'll leave it in there for a while, but it didn't do anything either. So, I mean, you're just going to have to experiment. Some metals are not meant to actually rust, so there's that. But my thought is, except for, well, let me just show you how to make it, and then I'll show you what I was going to do. I'm just throwing those back in there. Why not? So, what you need is a jar, something to stir with. I just have a plastic spoon. This is what I just used to dig out all my stuff. Now I've lost the little top to it. Uh, you will need some salt. And for this, I just have Himalayan pink salt because that's what we use. So I just threw in a generous amount. I don't know. We'll go a little bit more. I did not measure anything. It's filling the bottom. Maybe... I don't know. We can add more if we need to. Then you need some hydrogen peroxide. Man, this one is, does it say on here what the strength is? I have one that's really strong. Oh, I don't see it on there. But it, I mean, this one worked just fine. So, so you just, and it's pretty much equal parts. So I just kind of measured about kind of looked at the side and then you're going to have some white vinegar and I'm sure you can probably use so this is how I can tell if it was the I can't do this <laughs> I was going to try to show you like I was holding it like this yeah you can't see that but this has measurements on the side it's just a ball jar and then we're just going to mix it up we'll see if this is enough And mine will chirp, mine will be pink. If you're using, you know, basic table salt uh, or sea salt, white sea salt, it will not look like this. So just so you know. All right. So let's go ahead and throw these little guys in. And all you do is just wait. And ah, uh, let's see. How can I do this? Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to put the brads in. I'm going to leave the gold one by itself so they know that that was the gold one to see if it actually changes and then let's put just a couple of these in and i have no idea if this will be done before we're done playing today but there's my fairy charms my thank you tab we're gonna put all of these little pieces in and i'm gonna try to set this just up you know not in a place where I don't knock it over, but um, keys would be fun to do with this too, but I didn't have any. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with the silver paper clips. And then this bottle cap. And this, I don't know, it's just a cheapy thing, so I have no idea what will happen with it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put this kind of, let's see, where can I put this? Hmm. I don't know. We'll try to leave it there without me hitting it. <laughs> we shall see. And then I think we'll just put all of these rusty items in here for the time being. Those just turned out so cool. These might, I have small ones of these too um, upstairs. So these would be fun 
to do some more. And then we'll just save our spoon. Well, we need this. Because here's, I'm going to show you what I was going to do. Let me move all my little supplies out of the way. But that's pretty much it. There's tons of ways you can do this. But that, I mean, if the metal takes, is super cheap, super easy, and super fun to watch. Because it's just like, hmm. So I just got this little squirt bottle. And I'm going to take some of my rust and make my own little, just like coffee dyeing, just like I should clean these out. And I hope this isn't oil in there. I use these to make my um, to make my bath oils and Dave's beard oils. So sometimes they have like coconut oil in it. Hmm. This one's kind of stuck. Okay. All right. So all I did was just uh, you could use a funnel too, but I did. I didn't want to go searching for a funnel, but I thought perhaps this would be fun to use I'm going to try something else. I don't like that. That's too, too, it's too scary. I could use it to, you know, dye some things, but the only problem is it smells like vinegar. So, and you know, you know that I still can't smell that great, but I can smell the vinegar. So I don't really want to have, I probably wouldn't use this in journals I was going to sell. Because I would hate, I mean, it's one thing if it smells like coffee or Kool-Aid, but it's totally another if it smells like vinegar. Oh. But I thought I could play with it. I mean, I just created my own rust. It's no different than, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a cross between like the caramel and the, um, maybe the ginger, the alcohol inks. So see, these are still in there. There's plenty. I probably used way more stuff than I needed. But there we go. We just filled that up. And now I have some rust spray. Ta did. So I'll just, I'll just put that over here. It's just a little bottle. And then I think I'll leave, try to leave this here too so you can kind of see as that starts to change colors what's happening over here. It's like a little like science project. Okay. So what have I been up to? Well, I did finish the 4th of July journal and we've already done a flip through, but I'll show you what ended up happening with the uh, side. So I used uh, the fabric that I shared that I used on the inside. I used one of my ruffles and a little bit of, um, it's kind of like ribbony lace. I did sear it on either side so it wouldn't fray. And I voted not to do the denim pocket it's already really pretty big and it just it just didn't look right even if I had put something over the entire top but I really love how this turned out now the problem is it's past fourth of July so to put it in my Etsy shop uh, I don't know give me some advice or just save it I have a Christmas journal I haven't or that I need to list and I'm not listing that until Christmas time. So, you know, there's that. And then I was in Omaha last weekend. I didn't get a lot of crafting time. I, uh, we spent time, my brother and sister-in-law and my, um, niece and nephew were there. So, you know, we just had a good time, but I did get a little bit of time on Sunday. And so I just created, I just created some sets, if you will, so that I have the envelope and the tag already. So these are just a couple little, and I just use the stuff I have. Not a lot there. Um, so I have those, and then I made, these were all collage pieces that I did. So I made a bunch of collage boards and then just cut them up. It was just one of those things that was really relaxing, and I, I just needed to not think, and I didn't want to go through all of the, um, you know, I didn't want to dig through all the stuff and get it all out. I just wanted to have a little fun. And then I started, I did, made this one. 
And I made these sets and the blues. So those are kind of fun. But I thought if I put these together, then at least I will not have to search through everything and I know that they go together. So that, that was a good little decision. Um, this is, I did print out while I was there. I, oh, these go with that too. There's a couple of journal cards or, and or pockets and tucks. So put all those together. Um, I printed out some of my digitals, my um, vintage wallpaper digitals that I'm working on. They're not on my Etsy shop yet. And just had to play with them. Well, when I printed them out, our printer there is not the best. And so I just made a bunch of stuff. And so these are some of the these are some of the the ones that I printed, although I think these are all printed on the printer we have here. But I'm just starting to experiment with them. So we shall see. I really like them though. And I didn't I didn't do them to all to fit the page. So I had that set that I'm working on. I don't know when I'll actually get these done. I need to be on a road trip where I can, that's what I do is work on my computer when I'm on the road, like when Dave's driving. <laughs> and then I just start exper experimenting with all of my scanned items and digitals and start creating, creating things for either projects that I have or, you know, just whatever, whenever the spirit moves me. These are the ones I printed on the one in our office in Omaha and e, they did not, they're just not the right color. So, but I'll use them. So I was just experimenting. Those are some of those, but then the ones that I think we'll play with today. Let's see how this is doing. It's changing. Do you feel like it's magic? Okay, so these, we might be able to use some of this in our fairy journals. I'm just going to stick them over there. Like I said, I was just playing with them, wanted to print them out, and I certainly am not going to waste the paper, so. Okay, so these I'm going to need to put away in here. I've kind of messed up my little um, system because usually I have tags, envelopes, pockets. And now those are all set together. So maybe I should just do sets. So this was the other stack that I made and I kind of want a little cray on these, but let me show you what we're working on. And if you haven't seen the video where I kind of gave you a little sneak peek, um, you can go check it out. Let's see which way is up this way. So this was some fabric I found, um, when I was in Omaha in my stash. And so I decided I really have been wanting to do kind of a retro fifties reader, kids reader inspired journal. And so that's kind of where this came from. So, so far I haven't done much. Um, this is something I had there. These are little tags that come out really simple little project. And I have added a couple pockets with some items in them. And then the, of course, the edging. I do still need to sew around it, but that means I have to change because I think I need to use black thread or maybe pink or red. I gotta, I was so cold and now I'm hot. <laughs> I gotta take this off. So I have to, you know, re-thread my sewing machine, which I, I, I'm always on the struggle bus. So I haven't done a ton of work on this whatsoever. But, um, I don't like this. I'm taking this out. There's just something about it. It doesn't, it's not just not calling me. Um, so I thought what we would do, I need to pick a couple more pages. And then I thought we would just start to kind of add some pockets, add some text. This is little Pam, but that's all. I haven't done anything more than the initial blush that you guys had. So let's see what we've got here. And then I'll show you what I've made. But I have found a few things I think we might be able to use. So 
One is, this is from uh, one of my digitals. It is on my Etsy shop. Uh, but I thought these would be cute to use possibly as belly bands. So I grabbed that out. And then I thought I had some more of that little girl. I might in a smaller size. But I thought perhaps we could use this. Maybe make a journal card or a tag out of it. And then these are the ones that I printed um, from my vintage. Aren't these fun? I know the color doesn't look very good on camera. Uh, and some of these are the ones that I printed in Omaha, so that I like that. Um, not all of these. Like, this is more kitcheny retro. So I thought we could use some of these as even pages. I should have printed them two-sided. I did not. Uh, I don't even know what all is in here, but... Boy, I printed a lot. See, look. Or maybe these are different. I don't think I altered those. These are just some butterfly ones that I had. See, the colors are really different. But not that I hate that. It's just, it's, it wasn't wasn't how it looked when I did it. But I've got a whole bunch of this stuff that we, if we need to, we can use it. But I think I've probably created enough ephemera with it that we likely won't need it. But I think we need a couple more pages. And... I thought maybe, I mentioned this before, but I think, not that one. I'm thinking something with color in it. Not that. Although that would go cute in my beachy, oceanatic, too purple. You know, I'm not a purple girl. Oh, here comes Demi. Too, too dark. I was thinking for sure there was something in here. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. That's a maybe. Nope. Seriously? Nothing? Let's just do it one more time. There's a lot of cool things in this. That might not be bad, but it doesn't really look, I mean, it doesn't really look childlike. Come on, Vera. Throw me a bone here. Mm. I'm saying no. Not so much for that. Okay. Vera's going to get put away. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Well, I do have a bunch of this vintage. We could get that. I thought that would make cute belly bands too. We have this piece. Do we have any other full size? I cut a bunch of these and put it back them a little bit. This one's just, you know, maybe we could collage with it or something. Well, this looks like it's together. Let's see. Yeah. All right, let's put this together, and we'll use this as a page. It is not very straight, but it's okay. We don't really need it to be because we're just using our med tape. So I hope you guys are all having fun. You're doing something exciting with your families or crafting in your craft room. Um, like I said, last weekend, it was kind of a relaxing at we, you know, pool, hang out by the pool, spend time with my brother and his family, which that, we haven't done that for a while. So that was nice. And What else did we do? Oh, um, last night, Demi and I, so Demi's season is over, but the, um, 
the varsity team is uh, was playing re regionals, so they were um, trying to. This was the qualifying round for state, so they won their first game, and this would have been their second game last night, and then which qualified them to go to state next week. Well, unfortunately, the season is over, and. It was kind of a sad loss, um, but you know what? The, we played this team several times, have beat them almost, well, we beat them every time, and the team that showed up last night, they deserve to win. So, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, it's always sad, especially, you know, for those senior girls to have their season end, And but, but she and I had fun. Let's see, let's count. One, two... Six, seven, eight, eh, nine, but I guess 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Remember, this is a one signature, signature journal. 15, 17, there's Pam. 18, 19, 20. Okay, there's 20 pages. And you know, that's plenty for this because you saw my 4th of July journal. It gets really big. So we'll, we'll be okay with that. That's good. I took out that orange one and replaced it with that other one. So now let's, we're going to play with some of these, but let's see what I already created. And I didn't have a, a lot of, you know, kids books there. I had a few, but not a whole lot. Um, and I knew I had grabbed this stuff out. So see what we have that we can use for pockets. Okay, so let's just look. We have this tag. I love that, that it said kindness matters and then it had arithmetic on it. Really simple, but kind of childlike. This was just a look. This ribbon is super, super. It's almost like a, like it's been starched, but it hasn't. So I have that one. This one, and these are all with my digitals. So you'll have to tell me what you think uh, once you see them on paper. Um, you never fail until you stop trying. This one probably won't go. I, it's, um, no, I think it just needs to go over here. And then we have this one. So we have one, two, three, four tags. Oh, I did a couple of... Oh, uh, oh, I know. We can probably make these together. These are um, corner pockets that actually fold out for writing space. So let's make a couple of those. Um, we have this. You've seen me, oh, excuse me, make these before. This is a envelope that folds around. So we'll put that in. So we've got one pocket here. This this probably don't cut it this one kind of goes with that with these okay all of these i'm gonna say no to oh this one was cute this is i made i just um kind of fussy cut around that and made it that into a pocket and then just make made a cute little notebook this was kind of fun and you know i probably need to get better i don't know maybe you guys are really good at this but um whether it be my digitals or the ones that I purchase, I'm, I'm not always good about just making a bunch of things with that. There's another tag with a pocket. Uh, you know, with that set and creating a bunch of ephemera, I kind of just go when this, go with when the spirit moves me. It's getting darker, but look how dark. And look at the, the difference. So, whoops, can't see if I move it that far away. Um... So I truly, I need to get better at it. Okay, so with these, for sure, there's another, ooh, this pocket might be too big. But then we have, so there's two pockets. And what do we have here? Another tag. Wow, I just went crazy on the tags. And journal card. A pocket and a journal card. Uh, what's this? 
This is a tuck, a tag, and a pocket. This could be a pocket and or belly band, but I'm thinking I don't really want to use... I don't think I'm going to use this one either. I don't know. We'll leave it out just in case. The other ones I'm going to tuck away. We got all kinds of other things to play with. We're at 30 minutes, so I'm not sure exactly at what time I started that process, but just so you guys all know, if you're seeing how long it takes. This is another wraparound, but it's uh, very much floral, not really childlike, so we'll put that away. Um, these could be journaling cards. These are maybes. This is fun. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I did this. Um, this we could probably zhuzh up into childlike. So this is just a, how did I do that? Let's see. Oh, I just cut a 12 by 12 piece of paper and then I did add this one in addition to it. And then this is a card, vintage card. Uh-oh, there we go. Hmm. That really doesn't go though. I'm gonna say, I'm calling no on that one. These are maybes if we can zhuzh them up. If I wouldn't have put this flower flower basket card on there, I think it would have been okay, but okay. So we're set. Let's start playing. First of all, let's make, I'm gonna put these all together. So we have, I'm gonna just set these aside a little bit. So we have tags, we have journal cards. We only have two. And then we have one, two, three. See, this is more the look I'm going with, like those. So there's four pockets that we've got, and we do have a couple pockets already in there. Then we've got some corner <coughs> pockets. <coughs> oh my goodness. We've got these things we can use to embellish. And then we have these random tags. And then I do have a bunch of stuff in here that we might be able to work with as well. But um, this, I honestly, I don't, I did not measure this, but I'm assuming it's eight by eight or six by eight by, nope, <laughs> seven by seven. I just, it was just paper that I had. So all you need is a square piece of paper. So let's just get one and we'll just, let's see. What ones do I have? I have this one and this one. Let's use this daisy paper and this is not um cardstock it is just regular plain i'm gonna get my trimmer out i'm walking around on my mat without shoes okay so first word world problems right i know i'm gonna move that just a smidge <laughs> i'll move it back uh so on Monday, I had to work at the office. So of course I'm not wearing flip-flops to the office. So I had put my shoes on to go into town. And then I was leaving to come back to Iowa right after work. I forgot my flip-flops. Now that seems like a silly problem, but I had just recently cleaned out my closet and I purged like a whole bunch of I'm going to make this one six by six. I don't want this piece on here. A whole, whole, whole bunch of shoes. And so I was literally down to one plain black pair of flip-flops. And that they are, and I wear them all the time, like every day. And they're in Omaha until Dave comes this weekend, so. Yeah. All right, so all we're going to do, I just want you to see that... We're just going to put this, you know, bring it to the corner. So that's all you're doing. And then you're just bringing it to the corners again. Now, 
Now, you can put this on many different ways, but um, we're just going to play around with it, whether we use it as a full tuck or not. So let's just use this one. <laughs> so what we could do, the only problem is if we put it like on the edge, it's almost better if you do it kind of maybe on the inside. So then they can still write on it. Yeah. Now, will will they? I don't know. Let's just put it on this because this needs seems to need a little bit of needs a little bit of help. So all I'm going to do is just glue on this backside so everything else, if they want, can be pulled down and written on. If not, you can still use these as tucks. So does that make sense? And you could put it around here just like that, which really in this case. I'm thinking might be a better idea. I'm kind of liking this one better here. Just because this is kind of a fragile piece, let's do that. <clears throat> so I am just going to put this back so you can see it. I'm just gonna do the very bottom. So this won't actually flip out to write on, but it does, it is a double, huh. I want it just a little bit above the end of the bottom of the page. So now, really you have one, two places to put something, <clears throat> but let's not worry about doing that. Let's get a spot for this cutie. Cutie patootie. You know, you could always do it like this, too. If you would have done it beforehand and make it a double. That would have been cute. Okay, we have two of them. We have this one, and we might not need both of them, but... This one might go cute here. And then we can set it here... Just glue it on so you could still stick something there and then it comes down that's what we're gonna do oh but I'm wondering well I can come back and do some stenciling I think we're gonna have to think a little bit about the stenciling because it might be we might need to stamp instead because I'm thinking maybe alphabets and that kind of thing is not in it's not in camera as well because I've got my little thing over there it is getting darker I'm gonna where's my spoon behind my project here I'm gonna stir it I forgot how much I love science projects <laughs> Okay, so now for this, um, I'm going to leave it for now, but because it's a writing piece and we want people to know that, we'll probably have to just put a little paper clip on there, <clears throat> but we'll leave, that, leave it for right now. It's going to be too big on either one of those. We need something in the back. Oh my goodness. What else do I know? Anything? Do I know anything? Hmm, this might not ha find a home because it's... Use a pleasant voice. Have you ever heard a music box? Your voice is a kind of music box. Your voice makes different sounds. Some are pleasant, some are not. That kind of looks cute there, doesn't it? Should we do it the same way? 
Yes, we sure shall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Demi, and the kids were both busy today. Um, well, Landon went golfing with his buddies early. And Demi had vacation Bible school. She helps and teaches. And she said, it was really fun today. And so they were, they take like modern songs from today, you know, that the kids will listen to. And they turn them into like, they do a remix and make it into like a, a fun song that the little kids can remember that kind of has a fun beat to it. So they were <laughs> singing all the songs from vacation Bible school both past and present. This is going to need something too. I thought it was kind of cute. And look, I have totally made this entirely too big. I mean, I don't think it doesn't matter. So should I just tear it down? Let's see if I, how much are we off? We're doing it. We'll see. I'm just, I'm just coming over here because I've got all of my supplies right next to me on the left. And <clears throat> I don't want to take any chances and knock over. Let's see if we can find a place for this. Okay, it will fit exactly on that. But I'm not going to put it in yet. I'm just going to put a paper clip on there because I think we probably want to do... Hold on, I'm just undoing paper clips. Should we check? Let's see. I'm just going to do a couple more pockets on here. And then, or at least find spots for them. I'm just going to put it up here. And then we need to check on our stuff. So, see, these would also be cute as pockets. What if we do something like Let's do this with some, maybe some washi. Here's my thought anyway, and kind of make it like a flip, or we could even do it like this flips, this, and then this. We probably won't have time to do that this time. Let's see, should we do this last? I'm thinking. Or we could have it flip up. That might be better. Because I've got writing space on all of it. Let's do that. Alright, so I've got these like this. I could do it a couple ways. I can washi it, bend down, another washi, and just do it separate. I haven't done that. We got some washi. Let's play around with it and see what happens. Mm. Is this going to be wide enough? How about this orange one? It goes with the jack-o'-lantern a little bit better. All right, let me think here. We're going to start by just putting, oh, I need, I need some glue. This isn't going to cut it. I have a few pieces, or a few pieces, a few rolls of washi tape that really are pretty good, pretty sturdy, but most of them, eh, not so much. Should have done this the opposite way. Oh, now it's on there, so we're just gonna <laughs> do this. Oh, gee, many Christmas, Angela. Were you guys all yelling at me? Like, uh, no, don't do that. Okay, let's try it again.
So what I think I'm going to do. Yeah. I'll put it on. I'm just coming over here. Trying to get it even. Sort of-ish. Let me just, I'm going to cut this. Oh. Maybe. I'm making things a lot harder than they really need to be. I'm telling you right now. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I've had a tickle in my throat all day. And, um... Once again, I talked to my sister, was that yesterday or this? Yeah, yesterday. And she said the same thing. And she, and she said, I just think it's the pollen count. And let's just wait till that dries a minute. She said that it's just really bad. I'm like, I agree. I am making a huge, huge mess. I did not do this right, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm fine with it. See how that was even at one point. It's not even anymore, but no, it's not working. That's going to stay there. That's not sticking on there. All right. I need to, I need to do a hinge and I we're running out of time. So I don't think that's going to work. I really want this on the top. Well, you know what I could do? What's on this side? I got an idea. Why don't we do this? Leave that. I don't know, I need to wipe off this glue. Maybe we just use this one and get some paper see what we got. We can cut this one down real quick. Let's see what else I got. I like to do them kind of. So we'll have this one, that one, that one. What else do I have? I'm just grabbing scraps. Let's just use our, I'm going to move this aside, leave it where we want it. So let's just do this, make it easy. I kind of want it just to be torn. I like that look. So we have three. My my thought is what we're going to do is we're going to punch. Oh, that's stuck right to that. We're going to punch two holes, put a piece of ribbon through it, and have ourselves a little notebook. So we need to. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to cut that off real quick. And per usual, I now have a big old mess. All right, so that's only three pages, so let's get a couple more. Um, I have a bunch more pockets over here, too. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to grab a couple of these that I haven't... Let me have. Let's just do this yellow one and this blue one. Nope, not that one. And we'll just do this one this way. I'm doing this totally different than what I would normally do. I'm gonna pull this off. Let's see how that looks. And I'm not even, I don't think I'm even gonna tear off. Maybe I'll tear, no. Nope. 
Let's see if I can do this. I did my um, <clears throat> Etsy orders this morning and I'm just ripping it. I'm <laughs> just ripping it. Forget the ruler. I don't know. I'm on the struggle bus for sure. Uh, and thank you guys. I, I mean, let's see. When are you going to see this? It's still going to be July. Uh, <clears throat> you guys were just so awesome in, in ordering and continuing to order on my Etsy shop. Um, in the month of June and c continuing on to July, you've been keeping me very busy. I'm just doing this over the garbage. And uh, so I've been running to the post office on the daily. Well, not every day, but a couple times a week, which is fine. I'm not complaining whatsoever, but um, I knew that I could just be, you know, getting all my shipments ready, scheduling them for my awesome um, mailman to come pick up. Goodness gracious. And, you know, not have to run, not that the, ga or the gas station, not that the um, post office is far away, but, you know, if it saves me some time, why not, right? And I just kept thinking, oh, I need to do that. I need to like, at least try it and make sure it works. So, today was that day. And let's see if we can get this to pop through. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some ribbon to put on it real quick like a bunny. Oh, this would be cute. I had a big enough piece. Could we make it work? These are scraps. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be not long enough because I needed to go through the page too. What do I got? What do I, how about this? Look at all these things I'm finding and they're like tiny, t teeny tiny. Oh, let's see. This might work. Well, we'll try it with this page. This page is now reinforced with some washi, so perhaps. So I'm just going to put some little dots on it. Our concoction is getting much, much darker. Yep, there goes everything. I haven't done a video for it. I know I'm going to have to use my... Please tell me this will work. I got a seriously weird angle. <laughs> okay. This I have a bad feeling about. This is going to be too thick. There's no way. <laughs> I just don't think I have any like thin ribbon that matches it down here, but let me look. We could just use some of this. That, that's probably going to work the best. Oi, 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 Angelina, Angelina. I've lost now my scissors. They're under, they're buried under here. I might change this out to something else once I, my, um, all of my ribbons, my pretty ribbons, are all above me. And so, not on the shelf that that uh, my camera mount is on, but on the one above it. So, you probably don't want me trying to get up there. One of these si sides it was the new side, so it's already taped. This one is, is not. <laughs> so, we need to make sure we sear it so it doesn't come undone. But yeah, and it's, it's way up there. That would be horrible. I have an issue with ladders and heights because um, many years ago when the kids were young, they were in preschool, I fell off the second story of like, you know, like 
the loft of like a shed. And yeah, I hurt myself pretty bad. That's cute. Uh, so I, I'm like, I don't like to get up on things when there's not someone. Look at this. Isn't this cute? It's a little smiley face that came in some clips that I bought. I don't know if I want to leave that there, but I'm going to put it there for now. Um, so unless somebody's around, I'm like, hmm, no, not getting on ladders. So there we have it. We still have a lot of work to do. So I will carry on with that in just the next video. Probably, I don't know if it'll be the next video, but because we got our fairy journal. But let's see how our goodies are turning out in here. And then we will say goodbye. All right, let me get on my junk here okay has anything in here done anything the answer would still be no the gold clips oh I had these these were already kind of they didn't do anything so I don't even know what brand my paper clips were but they did not work so let's see if any of this is starting oh yeah look at I need to put this up here okay these are not doing anything these are, can you see that? So that was silver. I'm going to leave them in, you know, even longer. I'll show you again. Ooh, my Monopoly piece is turning. This really isn't doing anything, but we'll leave it in there. Those don't, except for that Monopoly piece, that doesn't seem to be doing. Ooh, look at our gold pin. This is starting to rust, but it still needs quite a bit of time. This, this little pot of fun, look at how cool this gold one is turning out. I'm just going to set that down there. It's almost turning into like a coppery yellow. That's cool. We're going to leave that to do its thing. This one, of course, already done. That one we can put over there. Those work quick. These are working on it. These are the silver ones. Love them. This is our pop. You know, this is just, it was not a real pop bottle cap, but look how well that's resting. Ooh, fun. Is there anything else? Oh, I know, our fairy charms. Let's see if I can... Mm. Well, yeah, they kind of are, but I think they're going to need a lot more time. Let's see if one of the other ones, if I can find it. My hair clips are not, which that doesn't surprise me. That one's not either. This one, oh, that one broke. <laughs> this one may, it's starting to turn. So we need to give it a little more time. All right, so we'll just stop and be patient. And I think I'm just gonna dump this into here and clean that one out. And then I'll decide what to do with my, I think I, I will find a lid for it and just put it, put it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and keep it and reuse it because it's silly not to. Um, it's not like you can't keep adding to it. You don't have to make a new one every single time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for crafting along while we waited for our little rusting project to work. And um, I will be back soon with another fun um, little project and, you know, some working on our fairy journal and our retro reader uh, journal. And probably a whole lot more, but I just don't know what that is at this moment. So until then, friends, remember to take time to just be. I appreciate you and enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers.